many apes. Yo, Zeke, thank the 11 months. Hey. What's going on, gentlemen? What's going on, bro? How you doing? Um, Nino, how we doing? Hey. hey. How you doing, eh? Pretty good, pretty good. Um, FYI, Luciano, your face is plastered all over uh, PD. Yeah, I know. Yeah. They uh, showed your face off during the meeting, and uh, but I think they're too busy doing other shit. Just FYI. Denzel, primarily. Got a, got a big fucking war on my ass, but mm. not too pressed about it. Um, so, uh, all the legislation in Los Santos County is passed. Uh, which well, means yeah. that business proposals can stop being uh, put out. Uh, transparently, it's going to be mechanic shops, the new tow businesses, and uh, food stalls that I, are going to take priority. Now, um, given that you have your hands in some of those things, specifically the stalls and the uh, you know other ventures you got, I uh, wanted to uh, let you know that now is the time to put it in. So we can try to get it approved this weekend. Um, the second thing is we started a new initiative. As you may or may not know, it's taken us about two weeks to get through the whole contention stuff uh, between yeah. waiting for signings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. To circumvent a lot of the battling, let's just say the rumor mills and battling not getting feedback till it's too late, we're starting what... I'd like to think is the first Lo Los Santos like political party, but what it really is is like a review board. Uh, so different representatives in various circles, uh, I want them to get hands on the draft legislations in advance. So that way, as a Los Santos community, we can actually have dialogue and feedback. So um, what that's gonna look like is in Cyprus, if you can give me two of your people, that you uh, entrust to not only give your POVs. Uh, so what's going to happen is like you get two people. They'll see the draft legislation. They'll be able to like comment on like, you know, this isn't going to work for us. I see a problem with this. Can you add this? We need this in Cyprus, whatever, whatever. They'll be a part of that entire conversation. And they will be that vehicle to let you guys know what's coming down the pipeline. So, um... Uh, if, uh, over the next couple of days, if okay. you give me two of those names, I can get them attached to the review board. Uh, and okay. then that brings us to the third thing, which is the dispensaries. So okay. now that the businesses are approved, that's our next step. Now, having spoken to the DOJ, the way the process is going to work is we're going to give them a legislative proposal. And then we're probably going to have a DOJ hearing as to showing what the benefits are and all that kind of stuff because we have to go against state legislation. Now, uh, yeah. I don't know if I mentioned this to you yet, but uh, y'all are going to get the first dispensary or grow house just off the bat because I want to make sure it's done right. Um, okay, now, you sure, brother? That's, that's, that's big fucking news for us, but man. I'm not going to lie. We've been waiting weeks to, to hear back on this shit, so yeah. uh, that's music for I, our fucking ears. With the amount of bullshit that I've had to deal with, it's it's i don't give a fuck at this point if you're doing the office right you got the right business mindset those are the individuals that need to be leading the charge on these things so that others follow suit um fuck yeah brother and yeah we got we got a whole fucking branding for it we got a proposal ready for it. we got everything ready to go for this shit that yeah, that is great. perfect do not submit that one yet also do uh, not like tell too many people that you're getting it right because we got to do a little bit of a song and dance right um, but, uh, no, but right here, you know, doesn't leave this fucking conversation easy. Um, the next thing I want to mention is in regards to stalls, uh, I want every stall owner to put in their business proposal, but in a fashion where it's like a franchise, um, as the next stage that we're going to be going down because we're kind of planning for the future, right? One day people might be open in restaurants and shit like that. And we want to, in right. advance, uh, encourage stall owners to operate like a business so that they have shit in place and they can be put in front of, say, some random bozo who's like, yo, I'm going to make, I want a fucking shrimp shop in the corner. But the guy's never worked a day in his life outside of G6. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. 
So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're trying to set the stage now. Uh, I think you guys have about two weeks to send that out. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think like sometime next month, beginning of next month sometime. So uh, okay. I w if you're able to get like Frank's franchise business proposal out, that'd be amazing. Hell yeah. Um, I'm ready to go on this for a minute, so we'll, we'll, we'll submit all of that. Okay, easy, easy. Um, final thing I wanted to discuss, now that uh, Mopec is up and going, if you have someone that wants to run a mechanic shop, now's a really good time to do so. Uh, Mopec is going to uh, try to supply 20, 30% of mechanic shops to make sure that all the me mech shops, including Mosley's, uh, properly got pots in stock. Um, okay. Good uh, yeah. business venue. Okay. Uh, taxes are going to go away. It's going to become optional. If you're wondering why, the voting was pretty 50 50. Uh, and ultimately, it was already a big, uh, a lot of work on our end to keep track of it. But also, with kind of the direction I'm sort of seeing law enforcement, I don't want to open up any holes that might result in people getting their doors kicked open over some bullshit. You know what I mean? So yeah. we're, you're going to see a legislative update to that very soon. And finally, this place, uh, we're opening up the fracking. So uh, this one's here? that's right. Okay. So a pot of Mopec, it gives me the, um, you'll see the writing in there. It's about um, fracking and investigation uh, around the uh, potential oil sources. Uh, there's likely a guy, a foreman that goes by the name the Brickashaw, that is uh, gonna be probably have a couple people down here researching where we gotta blow up some fucking dynamite. So uh, holy shit, okay. Yeah, they'll be all like you know, dressed up, they'll have their vehicles. So if you see any uh, any movement in this area, that's what it's all about. So uh, all right, thank you for the fucking heads right. up. Yep, Man, absolutely. It's cooking right now. Oh, I am. I am. Brother, after today, I'm just fucking ready. Like this weekend, I told my staff, relax a little bit. Let's like, you know, take our victory. But this weekend, shit's going to stop popping. So uh, I'm Fuck excited. Yeah. I'm excited as well. Can't wait to fucking see it. Hell yeah. Um, are there any things that you guys uh, uh, need to bring up to my attention? Any concerns you got? Things you need down the pipeline? Uh, I mean, I think we're, I mean, I'm pretty much all good. Uh, okay. All the concerns with the dispensary shit, but it seems like it's, it's moving forward now. So, I mean, I'm fucking excited for that. Okay. Any laws and shit? Any of your boys like getting into some shit that doesn't sit right with you and needs legislative change? Mm, I don't think I, so, I can no. think of really. Yeah. I think we're okay. good. Easy. All right. All right. I think, um, all right. I think we see uh, eye to eye with uh, you know all the shit you got going on. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Good fucking work, huh? easy if i'm not around uh the go-to's are mina and michael the rest are on the staff but mina and michael like really resonate with my vision the rest gotcha. are great but they may you know speak out of line you know what i mean so yeah um all right brother all right. yeah easy i appreciate your time gentlemen there's one you know you have a great day thank you take care